Welcome to Real Issue Podcast. I am your host, Martel Llewellyn. Guys, if you are a Miami Heat fan, continue to like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you for all the support. If you're an NBA fan, subscribe to the channel, and thank you for all the support. So Bam Metabio was talking about the whole Donovan Mitchell situation because we play the Cavs tonight, and he was saying that he didn't try to recruit Donovan Mitchell to the Miami Heat. He said in the report that the media saw that and magnified that, Bam Adebayo said. To me, it was just playing with one of my best friends. So we all saw Bam Adebayo and Donovan Mitchell. They were playing in pro-am leagues. They were practicing together. You know, and to me, I think for sure, you know, they were really trying to send a message to the Miami Heat and to the Utah Jazz to try and make this deal happen. Now, the rest of the report was also saying that the connection with him wasn't even trying to recruit, Bam said. If he wanted to be here, he would have said that. And that's the bottom line. I respect the fact that he was upfront during the process. I don't think that I don't think the way it happened was in his control anyway. Now, I hate it and I hate it and I hate it when people keep on saying that, oh, Pat Riley, he fumbled. He couldn't get Donovan Mitchell. Danny Ainge wanted five first round draft picks for a guy like Donovan Mitchell. At one point, he was saying eight, eight first round picks. So at the end of the day, the Miami Heat, we never had the assets to get a guy like Donovan Mitchell. Okay, Danny Ainge, he just sold off Rudy Gobert for five first-round draft picks. You know, he pretty much collected almost nine to ten draft picks between Donovan Mitchell and Rudy Gobert. So at the end of the day, we did not have the draft picks or the assets to get a guy like Donovan Mitchell. So at the end of the day, I'm actually very ashamed of Bam and Abayo and actually Donovan Mitchell because what Donovan Mitchell should have done is Because he came out and said he thought he was either going to go to the Miami Heat or the New York Knicks. Donovan Mitchell should have said, I'm not playing for any other team if it's not the Miami Heat. He should have came out and said, I want to go to the Miami Heat. If he would have said that, now it gives the Miami Heat more leverage. Now it puts Danny Ainge in a spot to where, okay, now he has to work out a deal with Pat Riley. Everyone's saying, that, oh yeah, Danny Ainge and Pat Riley, they don't like each other. But guess what? If there's assets involved, they're going to work it out. Okay, I don't care what anyone says. If Danny Ainge felt like he was going to get the draft picks, like five first-round draft picks from the Miami Heat, the deal would have been done. Also, too, Bam and Abayo should have been demanding the front office to say that. I don't care what it takes, ship off Tyler Hero, I don't care who it is, to get Donovan Mitchell. And I just feel like none of them did that, you know? So if Donovan Mitchell came out and, and said that he thought he was coming to the Miami Heat, of course, they were practicing and playing together. Donovan Mitchell said that they were practicing and playing together in hopes that they would eventually be on the same team that upcoming season. So at the end of the day, we didn't have the assets to get Donovan Mitchell, but I still feel like Donovan Mitchell, he never opened his mouth publicly and said he wanted to go to the Miami Heat. Bam Adebayo, he did not go behind closed doors and say, I want Donovan Mitchell on this team immediately. Make a deal happen. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe as we continue to push to 2,000 subscribers.